this time cycling this video we are looking at two dimensional motion with constant velocity so this means suvat equations where it is two dimensional and an object which is moving in two directions has components in the x and the y direction and we'll normally see this in terms of i and j now these can be defined in four different suvat equations which will all include t so v is equal to u plus a t s is equal to half u plus v times t s equals u t plus half a t squared and s is equal to v t minus a half a t squared so the first question we have here says that a particle starts with velocity 4i minus 3j and after 4 seconds its velocity is 8i plus 5j so we have to use s equals half u plus v times t to work out its displacement. So first of all, we'll set up our suvat, so s u v a t. And if you haven't watched my suvat video, which just looked at one dimensional motion, it would be good to watch that first, just so you get a better idea of exactly how to use a suvat. But this is exactly the same, it just has two dimensional. And instead of putting it in i and j, I'm going to put it in vector notation just because it's slightly easier after that. But you can keep it in i and j if you want to. So if we're looking at s, s is a thing that we're trying to find out. Then u is initial velocity, uh, so it starts with velocity 4 minus 3. So 4 minus 3. Then v, that's its final velocity, and that's going to be 8. 5. Then A, that's its acceleration. We don't have that, we don't need it. Because finally, T is 4 seconds. So now we have that, we can put it into S is equal to half U plus V times by T. So that means that S is going to be equal to half. And then this is where it comes in useful just to have the U plus V because u is 4 minus 3, v is 8, 5, so therefore 4 plus 8, that's going to be 12, so it's going to be 12 on top, and then the bottom is going to be minus 3 plus 5, that's going to be 2. This is getting times by t, which is 4. So in other words, what we have is now 2 times by 12, 2. So finally, putting it back into that i and j notation, we're going to have 24i plus 4j. So this next question is saying that a particle is initially at the point with position vector r is equal to 3i minus 2j and travelling with velocity 5i minus j when it undergoes an acceleration of minus i plus 2j for a period of 3 seconds. Work out its position at the end of this period. So for this one what we're going to work out again is the displacement and then we're going to add it on to its initial position as we're working out the position at the end of a period and it doesn't start at the origin as many of them do. So again for this one we're going to be setting up our suvat equation. So we have s, u, v, a and t. s is a thing that we're trying to work out. Then u is going to be 5 minus 1. Uh, as it says that it's traveling with velocity 5 minus 1. Then v, we do not know, and again, we do not need v, because it gives us acceleration of minus 1, 2, and it also gives us time of 3. So the super equation without v is going to be s is equal to ut plus half a t squared. So s, that's what we're trying to find out. Then ut, that's going to be 3 times by 5 minus 1. That's going to be plus. And then t squared is 9. So half of that is going to be 4.5. And that's going to be times by a which is minus 1, 2. So therefore, S is going to be equal to 15 minus 3. And then that's going to be plus 
minus 4.5 and then 9. So that is then equal to 10.5i and then we're adding the minus 9 plus uh, minus 3 plus 9 is equal to plus 6j. But that isn't our final answer. That is its displacement from its initial position. But it asks us for its position at the end of its period. And as it starts at 3 minus 2, we're going to do that plus 10.56. So that is then equal. And our final answer is going to be 13.5i and then plus 4j, and that is meters. So the next question is wanting the speed and the direction, which we'll go into first, and it's also wanting the distance at the end between the initial and final positions, and it's moving with an acceleration of 4i plus 3j, and its initial velocity is 2i minus 6j, and it, the time is 8 seconds. So that means that we'll start with A, which is looking for that final velocity. So in A, we have S, U, V, A, and T. So S, in this particular case, we do not know. U is going to be its initial velocity, which is 2 minus 6, which we can just put as that, then V, that is what we're trying to find out. A, that is going to be 4 I plus 3J. And then T, well, is 8 seconds, so that's going to be 8. So therefore, without S, that's going to be V is equal to U plus AT. So V is therefore equal to 2 minus 6 plus 8 times by 4, uh, 3. That is equal, therefore, to, if we put it all into our calculator, then we're going to get 34, 18. So that is our velocity. However, it asks for our speed, first of all. Now, in order to get speed, we need to find the magnitude of velocity. So therefore, speed is going to equal, if you do Pythagoras, we're going to get 34 squared plus 18 squared. And that is equal to 38.47 meters per second squared, meters per second, in fact. Then direction, now direction, it, we know it's gonna be in the positive x direction, but what we can do is we can draw in a triangle the velocity. So we have 34 there, we have 18 going up, There we are, and then what we're gonna get is we want this angle here, that is its direction. So in order to get this, we're gonna do tan minus one, so inverse tan of 18 over 34, so opposite over adjacent. That is equal to 27.9 degrees. So therefore we have our speed there and we have our direction. But the second part is asking for the distance between the initial and the final position. Now, the initial, because t is equal to 0, and it didn't say it starts from any particular, it's just going to be 0, 0. So we just need to find out s at the end of those 8 seconds. So that means that s, we've got u, v, a, and t. 
Now we could put V in, but we're not going to in case we were of to get that one wrong. So then S is the thing now we're looking for and everything else is going to stay the same. So 2i minus 6j, a is 4i plus 3j, and t is 8. So therefore, we've got s is going to be equal to ut plus half at squared. So s ut is going to be 16 minus 48 that's 8 times by that and then half times by 64 because you've got 8 squared that's going to be 32 times by the 4 3 which is going to be plus 125 96 Therefore, S is going to be equal to 144i plus 48j. But again, that isn't quite finished as it asks for the distance. We've got the displacement. We need to take the magnitude again. So we take the magnitude of this, 144 squared plus 48 squared that is equal to 152 meters so our final question today says that a snooker ball is initially traveling with velocity 4i plus 5j and it undergoes an acceleration of magnitude 2.5 meters per second squared in a direction given by the vector 3i minus 4j so work out the velocity and displacement of the snooker ball from its initial position after four seconds now the issue we have here is it gives us the magnitude of acceleration but it doesn't give us it in the idea of i and j so therefore we can write down our suvat, but we will have to do extra things to find out what that is. So we have, so we've got, S is a thing that we're trying to find out. We're trying to find out its um, displacement. Uh, U, um, now that is going to be the initial velocity, which is 4i plus 5j. Then V, now we're also trying to look at the velocity, so that's another thing we're going to need to find out. Then A, that's going to be 2.5 meters per second, but we'll need to find another way of um, expressing that, and T is equal to 4. So if we look at this, this is given by the direction is given by the vector 3i minus 4j. Now if we were to do 3 squared plus 4 squared, we have a 3, 4, 5 triangle, that is equal to 5. Now we can see that that is twice as much as 2.5. So that means that the acceleration is going to be half of this vector. So therefore the acceleration is going to be 1.5i minus 2j. So with this information, we will start off by working out what s is. <clears throat> and we have s is going to be equal to ut plus half at squared. So therefore s is equal to 4 times by 4, 5. That is going to be 16, 20. That's going to be plus half times 16, so that's going to be plus 8 times by the 1.5 minus 2. So that means that displacement, doing all of that, is then going to equal 28i and then plus 4j. Then in terms of the velocity, for velocity we're going to be looking at v is equal to u plus at. Uh, so v is therefore equal to 4, 5, which is u, 
plus AT, which is going to be plus 4 times by uh, 1.5 minus 2. So that's going to be plus um, 6 and then minus 8. Therefore, that is equal to 10i minus 3j. So thank you for watching this video and see you soon. Bye.